This one says that the building was appraised for a hundred grand more than we paid for it. So we got a bar again, and then it exploded. Yeah, it's no harm, no harm done there, sweetheart. Let's just wait to hear what the insurance adjuster has to say. Well, I know we we might make a fortune off of this little massage business of yours after all. Thank God nobody got killed. Poor Jack could have been a little JJ. I just wish we could have helped him. I wish. What? 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 I would stop feeling sorry for myself about this, and 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 it just makes me feel so selfish. It's one of the things I love about you, quite frankly. But Liebchen, we're going to be rich, or richer, and we'll, we'll just buy you a bigger and, and better spa. I don't want anything bigger or better. I fell in love with this one. Madeline, hey, sorry I'm late. What's the matter with you? Nothing. Why? Well, you look not your usual bubbly self. I'm fine. Mm. I just have a lot on my mind. That's all. Ah, translation. It's about a boy, right? So, you've been avoiding me because you're attracted to me? Aren't you glad you asked? Look, I should just kept my mouth shut. You're probably totally freaked out right now. No. It's just, I am so tired of hiding and lying. I'm just through with it. Oh, I'm, I'm glad you said something. I just hope I didn't do anything to make you think. Because, man, I'm not gay. Okay, if you two are going to start burying your souls, that will be my cue to exit. We're talking about man. You're a man, Henry. Yes, irrefutably. But I'm not going to stay here and listen to my little sister discuss her love life. Excuse me. Hi. Huh. Oh. You poor thing. Are you still upset about Casey? Well... Yes, I always will be, though. Oh, but there's more. Okay, there's this guy, Noah. Ah, your fellow intern. Mm-hmm, uh-huh. The guy who loves the old movies, just like you. So you had a connection. We have more of a connection than that, though. Ooh, yes. An office romance? Yeah. But I don't, I mean, we work together and then we see each other like 24-7. It's a little too intense for me. And I waited so long to be with Casey and I still have feelings for him. And now here I am hopping into bed with another guy. He called me his girlfriend today. I freaked out. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. You know, in Sweden... We have a special word for these kind of relationships. But what's the English word? Okay, let me give you an example. Jack and Katie, Mike and Katie, Henry and Katie. Oh, rebound? Yes, that's it. Rebound. I know you're not gay. I got it loud and clear when I walked in on you and Maddie in bed. Okay, so what? We can't be friends, work together, or be in the same room together because... I'm not gay. You're uncomfortable around me. Why don't you just admit it? You're the one who can't even look me in the eyes. Okay, so why have you been acting so angry towards me? You've been in Oakdale like what? A couple weeks? And you've already met Maddie. And yes, she's a great girl. But it's just so easy for you. Whenever I fall for someone... It... What? I've lived in Oakdale my whole life. And sometimes I feel like I'm the only gay guy in town. Oh, come on, 10% of the population, man. Yeah, but how many of them are out? You know, you want to meet a girl, it's easy. You meet her at work, you meet her at the library, you go to the park, and there she is walking her dog. But for me, what should I do? Like, hand out a questionnaire the first time I meet everybody? Don't look at me like that. Like what? Oh, poor gay Luke, he's going to be alone the rest of his life. That is not what I was thinking. Well, then what were you thinking? You are not going to spend the rest of your life alone, okay? You're, you're smart, okay, you're funny. Okay, 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 just stop, stop, stop. You're making me feel harsh. Okay, sorry. You have no idea how this feels. You know, I'm the only gay guy a lot of people in this town even know. That's probably not true, man. S speaking statistically. Okay. Well, I'm the only gay guy they know they know. And I feel like I'm a poster child for the cause or something. I'm coming out, you know, that's a certain, a certain responsibility. Like, I feel like if I mess up, there's going to be somebody who decides that they just hate all gay people for life. And that can get kind of hard. I bet. I can't just relax and try to fit in. That sucks. Yeah. I, I know.
know exactly how you feel. I know what you're going to say. Rebound relationships never work. No. No, that's not what I was going to say. Well, look how many times Katie's been divorced. Well, she and Jack are getting engaged. Well, that was fast. So you don't like the idea of fast? Not too fast. Then why don't you just relax and enjoy your time with Noah? Don't waste it away feeling guilty. Well, that's, I don't even have that much time. I'm leaving for school soon. Which is perfect. Why is that perfect? Because then you don't have to commit to any long-term relationship. Just enjoy a couple of weeks of a fling with this beautiful man who loves you and adores you. And it's the perfect romance for a summer. <laughs> <laughs>